Welcome back. This is the long awaited heat mats. It just turned up. So, I've got four heat mats. All these are is um, I'll get one out and I'll show you. It's just a bit of plastic, really, with a, a heat thing inside it. It's on a plug with a firm, not firm stat, but it's a like a controller, so you can turn it up. Turn it, turn it off, and uh, variable heat. They're seven watts, so they're not very powerful. So I'm going to use three heat mats on the bottom of this propagator. So the plan is to um, just get three of these. Put three across the bottom, polyst polystyrene, and then tape it all up, and then we shall see what happens. Right, so there's the three heat mats. Now I'm assuming what I'm going to do, flip that over, like so. I'm assuming that the label faces outwards. So what I'm going to do is put that on there. Let me do it that way and they can, the wires can sit out of the way then. See, that's that. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape over the um, the cables just to sort of hold them in place while I get the polystyrene on. And the polystyrene we've got is not as thin as I was hoping for. Um, we have trimmed it up to size, which was a bit of a, a job in itself. So I'll take you back now to when we was outside trimming up the polystyrene. This is the polystyrene. What we've got to do now, because it's a bit big, <laughs> the amount of parcels we've had delivered that have got polystyrene and we've just thrown it out, but this is the polystyrene we've got. Now, anyone who's tried cutting polystyrene before will know it makes a right mess. So, I've heard a bit of a rumor that if you cut it with a hot wire, so I've just made this, I'm going to heat the wire up with a blowtorch and I'm just going to pull it down through the polystyrene in theory I wonder if we could do with a block of wood or something um, just to keep it off the table so I can come down either side of it so I'm going to, most of these I'm going to cut in half and then they can all go on the bottom. This is a bit of a theory, whether it'll work or not, I do not know. Blowtorch at the ready. Right, so.
Mann mit Das wird der Hauptsache. Sort of works. I think it needs to be a bit hotter. I wonder if I have to do a bit of a soaring action with it. And that is how you do that. It's not didn't go through as perfectly as I thought it was going to. Perhaps it's not hot enough. I suppose we could have used a hot knife. Still, it's done the job and we've not got too much mess on the table. So good tip that one. On the wire. Just to hold the thing in place. Face at the window, a bit scary, Mary. I'll put a little bit of tape at the other end as well, just to hold it in place, but try not to actually get on the element part of it. So this is going to be a bit like the Krypton Factor. Of course they're all different thicknesses. I didn't look it when we was doing it but um I think that'll do. This is going to be the tricky part. It will be taped on. This is what they probably call in the trade a technical bodge.
so that is that all taped on thing to do now get my wires untangled when I saw you I would lose control made me feel like there was no time. got my trusty assistant down in doing the honors So I'm not expecting instant heat, so what we're gonna do, put everything back in the propagator, put the lid on, and I'll put the thermostat inside, and we shall keep an eye on it and see what it gets up to. <clears throat> For the boot jalokias and some of the sort of hotter chilies, they need quite a bit of heat. But we've got some Carolina Reaper seeds coming, and they need between 28 and 30 degrees in your propagator, so hopefully we can get to that temperature. And, uh, We'll be laughing. Right, so we'll load it back up. With this polystyrene base as well, it just brings them up closer to the light. So whether that'll make any difference, I do not know. So we'll keep an eye on these and see what the temperature gets to. At the moment it's 22.3. We'll check back on it in a bit. So that's it. We're all up and running. I've put the fourth heat pad on this little propagator. And we'll see what happens with that one. We've already gone from 22 degrees. It's now sitting at 23.2. So I'll keep an eye on that. If it gets too hot I'll have to turn the little heat controllers down but I need it to get quite warm in there so I shall leave them on full for now because it's quite a big propagator and they didn't cover the whole bottom of it so there's, there's it's the majority so it should get the heat in there so that is how to make a heated propagator on the cheap heat mats were four pound each off eBay they're just a seven watt heat pad I think they're advertised for um, using them in reptile tanks and that kind of thing. But they seem to be doing the job on here. There are other heat mats available, which are a bit more expensive. But uh, we're quite interested in doing things on the cheap. So here we go. They've settled down now. The big propagator is at 29.1. I've not got a temperature gauge in this one, but it's got a heat mat on it now. These little chili plants, they've germinated, but they probably do all right actually outside the propagators. We shall see. Yeah, so far, so good. So if you like this video, found it interesting, Give us a thumbs up, all helps the channel. Only Don don't have this trouble, you know. No, yes, dogs. So yeah, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, ask any questions you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And bye for now.